Hey there, fashion friends. Welcome to today's episode. We are looking at expensive clothes. Worth it or not? Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. With this channel, I feel like I share a range of prices. So I think for me, when you're taking a minimalist approach, there are times that it is worth spending a little bit more on something because of various reasons. And other times it's not worth spending the money. It is all relative. It's, it's my perspective. It's my reasoning. So this is just my opinion. So again, take it with a grain of salt. With that, let's get started. All right, first thing, well-known boots. Worth it. Yes. When I say well-known boots, what I mean is brands that are recognized by other people to be worth it, to be quality and, you know, sought after things. The reason for this is that when you do that, when you spend a good amount of money on a good quality pair of well-known boots, you yourself are investing in that piece for yourself. So you can have that piece for a really long time and love it. And you can choose to wear it into the ground, like wear it till that baby is just absolutely just hanging on by its last thread. Maybe you're even able to take it to a cobbler and get it fixed. Yes, they do still exist, but maybe it's that at some point your style changes, your style transitions. Uh, maybe you, you decide that the boot doesn't work for you anymore. The nice thing about having a well-known boot is that you can then go to resell that boot and hopefully get a good amount of money back from that boot and invest it maybe in another pair that is working for you at that time and then give that pair of boots a second life or a third life. In my opinion, it's just a great circle of clothing life. Next one, quality blazer, worth it. So why a good quality blazer to me is worth it, a blazer, is an investment piece for your wardrobe. If it works with your style, for me, blazers definitely work with my style. It's a big part of my style. So for me, it's really important to have those quality blazers that are not only going to be comfortable, but they're also going to wear really well over time. The reason why blazers are an investment piece is because they don't ever really, they don't ever go out of style. Blazers are always being reinvented, refreshed every single season. They're always going to be in style in one form or another. So I think that's ultimately what it comes down to. So not that I'm saying you have to, you have to spend a lot of money on it, but I would say, yeah, you might have to spend a bit more, you know, than your $40 at H&M for a blazer um, to get a good quality one that's well-made, well-fitted, and is going to sustain uh, the test of time, <laughs> the test of your time. And again, if you're getting a good quality one, if it's a well-known brand, it's again, it's the same sort of thing that I said before, you can always resell it, which is always a really great option to have. Another option for good quality blazers is going on eBay or secondhand stores or any other uh, secondhand shopping and finding one secondhand. Uh, one of my favorite go-to blazers is a Ralph Lauren blazer that I got from eBay and it's my favorite blazer. The quality of it is fantastic and I got it for, you know, way less than its actual original cost. So that is definitely a great option as well. Designer handbags not. I, it is a hard one because I do think there can be times that it's worth it. I guess if you really have the money for it, it can be worth it because again, it goes back to the whole idea that it's sort of an investment, like those type of pieces hold their value, like a proper designer bag, like a Chanel quilted crossbody bag. I mean, that's gonna hold its value forever. Like you can all, you can probably resell that for exactly what you paid for it. But I'd say if, you're somebody that doesn't necessarily have that sort of disposable income and you're seeking that s sort of option, I'd say to that you don't really need to because I think what's great about these days is there's a lot of uh, handbag brands that are direct to consumer that are making super high quality handbags for really good fair price. And to me, what I love about a good handbag is when it's understated and just has really good style and is classic and just adds a little 
touch of style, isn't, you know, in your face. It's not something that's worth going into debt over or worth stretching yourself for. Because ultimately what you are paying for is the name, is the designer name. And so um, the fashion industry has a 300% markup. So you're paying all that money just for that name. So you could be getting the same quality bag from somebody else over here that isn't this like high-end luxury designer that's just making a good quality bag from for direct to consumer um, and have a fantastic quality bag that will give you just as much, you know, style and pizzazz over time. I don't know. Button up shirts, worth it for sure. Button up shirts are not all created equal, no. To me, what makes a good quality shirt is a shirt that has been designed with pure intention, with pure intention for its silhouette, for its details and its quality. Because for the reason that I want a shirt that is gonna obviously last a long time that I can have for years and years. It's not gonna fall apart on me, but I also want a fit that is effective. Shirts in your wardrobe are a major investment piece because they are so diverse and they're so classic. So again, this is a piece that won't ever go out of style. It will always be reinvented. You can always refresh it however you wanna refresh it. So I think for that reason, you wanna spend that time and that money to get the right shirt for you. Trendy, bold details, not. I know I've said this so many times, but I do love a good trend. There's nothing wrong with trends, but I think there's a balance. I think for me, as somebody that takes a minimalist approach to my wardrobe, if I'm going to bring a trend into my wardrobe, it's gonna be one that I love, is going to add value, is going to kind of add a little bit of spice or a little bit of interest to my wardrobe, to my essentials, to my core wardrobe, and is gonna be something that I can easily transition in um, and that will hopefully stay in my wardrobe for a really long time because I, I love it so much. So the problem with really trendy, bold details, um, you know, maybe it's a really bright, bold color, you know, buying a really bright fluorescent green blazer. Something like that is going to be hard to one, probably maintain your love for it. I think when you have those really bold things, unless you are somebody that is, you know, has an, a more eccentric style, that has a more flamboyant style. Um, if you are somebody that has a flamboyant style, then that might work for you for long term, for a long period of time, because it is such a particular style, it is such a particular style trend. It will be a lot harder if it is something that you can resell, it'll be a lot harder to resell that because it is so particular and you will probably have a smaller amount of people that would wanna purchase something like that. Luxury swimsuits, not. This is something that I discovered over the last few years. Um, when I was working with in the fashion industry, there's obviously there's times when I got some good discounts and I could get a discount on some really nice designer swimsuits. And I would say that although I loved them and for the most part, good quality, maybe yes, you'll have that badge of honor that you're wearing a Versace swimsuit. But at the end of the day, I think it's just a swimsuit. Those luxury brands aren't necessarily better quality. You're paying for the name again. To me, that's not really worth it. Okay, good jeans. You know what I'm gonna say, worth it. Worth it every time. So here's the thing with jeans. Um, I get comments a lot with people, you know, talking about how expensive some of the jeans I have are. Um, fair enough. I think some people think I'm crazy. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to spend the amount that I spend on jeans. But here's reasons why I think it's important to invest in a good pair of jeans. Jeans are one of the most uneco-friendly produced item in our wardrobe. But along with that, they're also the most durable and hard wearing and well aging piece of clothing in our closet. I put a lot of time and research into the jeans that I'm buying because I wanna make sure that the jeans I'm buying have a, an excellent fit, have excellent fabric, and have ex excellent durability and function so that I know that I can have those for a really, really long time. Along with that, it goes back to Previously, what I've said too, when you're buying good quality jeans that carry value, that carry a name that, you know, they, they can be backed by, um, if you do end up 
falling out of love with those jeans for whatever it is, for whatever reason, you can then resell that and give them a second life or a third life. Because of their quality, they're able to withstand time after time after time, wear after wear after wear. A 100% wool overcoat, worth it. Yes. It is shocking, again, how rare it is to find a 100% wool overcoat. I got mine from Everlane two, three years ago now. It's 100% recycled wool. They don't make them anymore. They ha they've been sold out of them for a really long time. Um, so I always try to find an alternative link. And it is damn near impossible to try to find a replacement that is, well, one, 100% wool, let alone 100% recycled wool. Like I said, I've had my wool coat now for three seasons, three winter seasons. And it's basically been my go-to coat this whole entire winter in the frigid cold temperatures of Minnesota. It gives me style, but gives me excellent warmth. And it is just going to wear so well over time. This is another one that's great to find in secondhand shops because 100% wool coats wear well beautifully over time. Um, this is why finding like a secondhand pea coat or um, trench coat or anything like that is just, is amazing. It will still be just as excellent uh, secondhand as it would, you know, buying it brand new. So there we go. All right, my friends, there we have it. Those are some of the pieces that are expensive that I think are worth it and not. So hopefully this video was helpful, if not at least somewhat entertaining. Um, comment down below and let me know if you agree with what I've mentioned here today, or if there's something that you think is worth it or not worth it that I didn't mention here today. If you did enjoy today's episode, you know what to do. Give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends and subscribe for future weekly episodes and make sure to click the little bell to get notified when I post my new episodes twice a week. All right, you have a lovely rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other. And we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye.